Well, but uh, when it comes to this tax code thing, if Carl World wasn't right, when last time he was here, he was saying uh, the problems might not be so much as those across the aisle, the Democrats. Uh, and that was before all the president's overtures to Democrats. Uh, but his own party, the far right in his party, uh, the former George W. Bush deputy chief of staff, best selling author, Fox News contributor to Carl World, with us right now. You're saying that right now it's, it's those conservatives who, who are going to undo it. But particularly, Carl, I don't want to belabor this, but your final paragraph in your latest column in the journal where you say, if the Freedom Caucus acts on its threat, the budget resolution could be voted down, making reform impossible. No doubt, following their MO, the group's members would then blame the GOP leadership. If the resolution passes, the Freedom Caucus's shenanigans may delay tax reform until 2018. These lawmakers are demonstrating once again that the freedom they most prize is freedom from the responsibility of governing. So if it, if it goes kaput, it's on them. Explain. Well, it should be if it goes kaput, because, look, the House Budget Committee passed, a resolu passed the budget resolution out in, in late July. They did so only after a Freedom Caucus member demanded that the House leadership drop the border adjustment tax from any tax reform package. Otherwise, he was going to either try and amend the budget resolution to, to kill it specifically or would not support the resolution. So the House Budget Committee comes out with a budget resolution. That's important because without the passage of a budget resolution by the House and Senate, the Senate it would require 60 votes. But if you pass a budget resolution that, include, that includes language allowing for a tax reform bill, then the, the Senate can pass such a bill with only 51 votes. So the House comes out with that resolution, that budget resolution, expects to take it up in early September. But now the Freedom Caucus is saying, we will deny you the th our 30 votes for the budget resolution, thereby bringing about its defeat until we get to see all the specifics of the tax reform bill and get to go up or down. So you have 30 members of the House of the 241 Republicans in the House saying it's my way, our way or the highway, and we're willing to vote with Nancy Pelosi on the budget resolution to bring this whole thing down unless we get exactly our way.